Hi, my name is Jordan Swenson, and I'm an automated packaging and mechatronics student at Wisconsin Indian Head Technical College, or WITC for short. So I know a lot of high schoolers are thinking about their future careers and must make big time decisions on choosing the right school and the right program to start the rest of their lives. For me personally, I knew the traditional four-year college, accompanied by thousands and thousands of dollars in debt, was not the right career path for me. So, I turned to WITC, a two-year college that equips you with all the necessary skills to thrive in any career path of your choice in the packaging industry. In this video, I'll be splitting up this program in a few categories. Fluid power systems, electricity, the mechanical side, and one of the newest additions to our program, robotics. And of course, I'll be wrapping up this video with giving you guys one of the most motivational and inspiring portions of our choice for choosing WITC. During our first semester, we talked about fluid power systems, or hydraulics and pneumatics. The key function of a hydraulic fluid is to provide energy transmission through a system which enables work and motion to be accomplished. Hydraulic fluids are also responsible for lubrication, heat transfer, and contamination control. The usual makeup of hydraulic fluid is a mixture of oil and water. Pneumatic systems are known as using energy from compressed gas to make something move or work. Usually compressed air is used in pneumatic systems. Pneumatic systems are more sustainable than hydraulic systems because air can be exhausted into the atmosphere, while hydraulic fluid must be exhausted into a fluid reservoir and eventually disposed of. Also, pneumatic systems are more straightforward to design and simpler to manage than hydraulic systems, but hydraulic systems are capable of greater pressures, up to 10,000 psi or pounds per square inch with hydraulics compared to 100 psi with pneumatics. Electricity is one of the major key points of our program because in the packaging industry, servicing machines usually include loads of electrical troubleshooting. We started with the basics, learning how to lock out machines before we service them. Safety is incredibly important because we, as people, don't want to be losing fingers and getting your face melted from arc flashes. So we had to get 100% A pluses on our safety test before we even touched anything from the shop. We then learned DC, or direct current, spending a good chunk working on control circuits. One thing I love about electricity is that electricity is not a basic category to easily understand, but we were supplied with many formulas that never change, giving us the motivation that we needed. 90% of the electricity used in our world today is used by AC, or alternating current, so we took as much time as we needed to learn how AC works and focus on different components used in AC circuits. Nowadays, some of the newest and greatest machines can be produced with little to none mechanical components, but it is still very important that you can have the hands-on mechanical understanding just in case if you're working on an older machine that could be completely run by mechanical action. I did not have a lot of prior mechanical knowledge, but knowing how to properly take apart and more importantly put back together mechanical systems is essential if you're going into maintenance. Some companies even allow you to take pictures to give you a base to go off of and so you don't forget what the final product looks like. Robotics is the newest addition to our program and I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to learn about this special piece of equipment because robots are being used more and more each year in the packaging industry. Unfortunately, Robots have taken some production workers out of the job, but for us, knowing how to operate a robot and write programs just makes us even stronger and even more useful. And you know what they say, knowledge is power, and that leads to more opportunities and of course, more compensation. Now, let's describe what it's like to come out of school and start making some money. On average, at a local technician's position, you're looking on average 60,000 starting salary right out of school, but for me, I want to travel and that's where the big bucks come in because most companies offer extra compensation whether it's driving miles with cars or when you use flights to get to and from. Also some companies give a company credit card, company car, and per diems which is a daily allowance for food expenses. If you don't use all the per diems allowance, you pocket the remaining cash. One of the recent graduates from WITC last year worked as a traveling field service technician and started around 70 grand. But with all the benefits, you're looking at thousands and thousands on top of your salary within the first year. Obviously, wages will increase with more experience and loyalty with your company of choice, 
And when I say choice, I really mean it because there are thousands and thousands of companies all around the world who are dying for techs because not many people go out of high school and go into the service side. Most careers that make the big bucks usually require four plus years of school with thousands upwards of six digits of debt. Yes, you can get a lot of money if you do things right, but with WITC, specifically our program, being only two years long and you spend around 16 grand to get a great education and leaving with barely any debt compared to most schools. If you are in-state, your tuition is decreased by half. I came up from Indiana and didn't know about this policy, so after the first semester, I registered myself to be a resident of Wisconsin, and because of this, I only have to pay 12 grand before I am debt-free. With this program, you can go any route that works for you, because there are an infinite amount of options for work with all the experience we have obtained in the last two years at WITC. I just want to let you guys know, the reason why I'm ending this video outside is because it's 81 degrees at 7.58 p.m., a beautiful sunset. It hasn't been this warm in nine months, so I'm trying to take as much time as I can outside. Overall, I believe I'm on the right track to having a successful career because the trades in this generation are not thought to be as important as many traditional careers. The trades these days are in extreme high demand and people will pay big bucks to get the job done. I got lucky because I had family who has taken this program before and they helped me put myself in what I believe is the right direction. When your time has come and you're looking back at your life, no matter what career path you've chosen, if you can say, Earth is in better shape than I started, then you've accomplished a task that many citizens have chosen to follow through in making this world a better place. I know that I'm gonna be part of this chain, and I hope that whatever decision that you make when choosing your career path, you can say the same. I hope everybody who watched this video got inspired, because I know that every single time I think about my future, I get butterflies, because I know that my career has been secured for life. In the description below, I'll include everything that you need to know about WITC and how to apply. Thanks for watching guys, stay smart.